Hey guys, and welcome back. This is tutorial number 17, part 2. Um, to finish up where we actually left off, uh, sorry, and it cut off on me there, but uh, the idea here was that we were to build a skill system in which skills can gain levels, um, and then we were doing the reporting in the battle system so that it actually um, tells you of that. So, um, I made a quick modification to the change uh, skill experience method here. And the main difference here is, is that I made the next skill IDs plural um, and then actually opened that up to be an array. We do everything inside of here like we did before, but the difference is, is we actually say next skill IDs and we add the uh, learned skill um, to that um, when it's learned. And then if something is learned and the next skill ID is not equal to um, nothing or an empty array then it will go through each of the skills within that and then you'll learn the skills um, so what we can do or what we're, I'm thinking we're going to do is rather than modifying the battle system I'm thinking what we're, we're going to actually modify the um, messaging right here to, to actually prompt and show the message. So here we're going to say actor has learned skill and then we add that into the list of things. So um, let's go ahead and try that out. In fact we can actually comment out the rest of this since we don't need it any longer. Let's just try that and see how it works. Okay, going and executing the attacks now. Hopefully they'll both die the first time. Alright, our slime is defeated. A thousand experience. Undefined method. New skills for game actor. New skills. Oh. We don't need that there. So here we just say get that because this is already running our next skills, our new skills. Let's try that again. All right, so that should be dead. Okay, thousand experience was received. Undefined method name for fixed num. Oh, and that is because of this. And let's say s equals data skills skill since it's an ID, and now it is an object of the thing. Sorry, let's try that one more time here. Darn slime, how does it avoid? Alright, should be dead now. Ralph Hill 2 was learned. Bennett Hill 2 was learned. Hill 2 was learned. Although, does Yova actually even have that skill? She is magician. She has fire. She didn't even have that. So I guess the question is, why is that even coming up? So this is actually stored underneath the actor. It's acting like they earned it. Next skill IDs was here. 
change skill experience is a method for actor and it's going to be the different version of it we don't actually need that up there any longer nor that and we don't need this on the beginning of it but so the question is skill learned equals true and next skill ID is not equal to nothing. It's acting like it's learning it for all the actors, which just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We initialize this hash for this actor, which is going to be Ralph or the others, but each one of them should have their own instance of that add this change skill experience we'll go for skill ID in the skills in which that actor has and determine the next skill for that and if it's not equal to nil then it will check the value if it's not equal to nil then set it to zero I'm sorry if it is equal to nil set it to zero then add the experience earned to that skill if the skill level is higher than that, skill learned equals that, next skill that. I don't know why, because... Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure why it's not working right, right now. Here we've got our skill ID it says if you have hill then the next skill is 34 so let's step through this here alright I would like to call a console up to work with that one of the new fit features of uh, RPG Maker VX Ace is a console um, so that you don't have to call yours up manually um, I don't actually have the code right now in order to pull it up manually, so um, I can't do that. But what we can do is print the name of the actor and the skill ID that is being checked at the time that we are actually adding skills and see if maybe somehow it's getting into some sort of funny loop right there. First we have to kill him. And why is it giving experience? We actually need to modify that to be pharmacology. All right, so here it is actually saying, it is checking it for Yelva for that skill. So the question is why? There's no other references to it outside of this, but it must be part of the gain experience. So scene battle, gain experience, or the class change system, change experience. Oh. Let's disable the class change system here for a second and try this out. Again, we shouldn't be getting that message, but the fact is is that it's resetting the class each time. Oops, that's supposed to be end. Or begin and then end. Defeated. All right, so here we've got RPG actor. This is Ralph, and he's checking for skill 33. Now we're checking for Bennett, skill 33. 
again for Bennett, although this is skill 39. S Bennett, skill 75. Yolva, skill 47. 59, 61, 63. So Ralph learned Hill, Hill 2. Alright, and he learned Hill 3. I think he has Hill, so that should be fine. Okay, that actually took care of it. So it was actually something in the class change system that was causing it not to work, um, which goes back through and relearns the skills according to which weapons you equip. And so that, uh, okay, so that, that makes sense as to why they were learning it is because they had that skill, their class was changed to a class that had that skill and therefore they were learning it. So it's not that it was wrong, it's just that I wasn't expecting it based on this class change system and the fact that you were changing classes mid-battle as you were equipping equipment. So, all right, well, um, seems my video actually just gave out on me and I am finished. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this up here a little bit. Um, don't forget to go back in and comment your code. And of course, don't forget the unless dollar sign at on each of your aliases in order to make sure that uh, they don't get aliased more than once and uh, whenever you reset the game. And that should do it. So thank you very much, guys, and we'll catch you next time. Um, and see ya.